Hello, welcome back to the channel. So today we are continuing our journey with HTMX and uh, Clojure. And today we're going to build this active search example. So uh, if we briefly take a look into the HTMX docs examples, we can see that in action. So we, we start typing something and uh, um, after a while uh, our result, uh, uh, result set is updated. So we're going to build something similar, uh, but with Clojure backend. And to make uh, things a bit more interesting, I decided we are going to use this uh, Shakespeare uh, collection uh, as our source data. So we're going to load that in the backend, memoize, uh, split into the lines, and use that to search for the words. So let's jump to the editor. Uh, so far, uh, I added a new uh, namespace here in our project and we basically will have two new roots one is htmx active search just to show our root um, page for the example and the second one is htmx active search slash search and that will be a get request and we will pass the queue param in the query params uh, to pass our search word uh, to the backend so let's restart uh, the server uh, and uh, see how it looks now. So it's plain uh, page with the title and empty body. And uh, let's start from there. So the first thing is uh, let's pick this input block and let's go to our root handler. And we can, we can paste this HTML snippet where we want and cursor will uh, suggest to convert it to hiccup, which is uh, pretty handy. So we have something like that, a bit of formatting. Here we go. Um, so we don't need this, I believe, for now. And let's do some refactoring. So I think we will uh, stick with get, not post. And our URL will be htmx uh, active search uh, slash search, right? And the name of the field will be just Q. Uh, the type is fine, it will be search. And also, uh, we can pass a class uh, here. It will be a CSS class. And I have a utility and a class prepared so our input looks a bit better. So it's basically just plain uh, uh, tailwind classes with some styling. And after that, there's a function that gets this array of keys uh, convert them to strings and uh, join them into a, a string, concatenate to a string. So we have this input. Let's grab this one and let's put it inside our um, our page, right? So we want something like that. Let's see how it looks. Um, I guess let's so far disable this HTMX behavior so we don't have any requests. If we reload the page, yeah, we now see our um, search bar. If we go to the network and we reload the page, we type, nothing happens, right? So uh, let's go back and uncomment this. Okay, cool. so, so we need to add uh, our HX target uh, first. And uh, it will be just this ID, search results, right? But if we go back and uh, let's say after we have this input, we have a div and we want an ID and it will be an empty uh, thing. So let's maybe uh, say it's search uh, results and let's reload, go back to our page, open the network tab, um, let's reload. So we have search results, we start typing, and we can see there is a request uh, to the backend with this search uh, queue and our word. So yeah, the response is now uh, just uh, from the uh, search handler, we returning div with a queue param inside, uh, but we'll fix that in a sec. But anyway, what we see so far is that uh, when we uh, change something in our input field here, um, we triggering a request to the backend. Let's see how that's configured in the um, 
uh, htmx properties. So we have uh, hx get uh, to specify the URL that we call. Uh, hx trigger will be on the key up. Uh, so when we start uh, stop typing, right? And then we have this changed modifier that's um, uh, change modifier that uh, basically checks if uh, there was actual change to the um, input field. And then there is a delay uh, half a second. Uh, so we don't spam the backend with the requests. And there is like a delay between uh, the change and the requ request to the backend. So the other thing we can add uh, from the example is this uh, HMX indicator. And uh, let's pick this block and paste it here. Uh, convert and don't need the image really now. Let's just say it's uh, saying searching, right? We can reload, uh, refresh, and yeah, let's uh, let's change it to div. Like that. And now if we, um, yeah, actually our our backend is responding too quickly. So if we add a bit of delay in the backend oops sleep uh, for example two seconds right i think we'll see it now better let's refresh type yeah and we see now searching and this indicator is visible uh, while the ajax request is in progress so if you're wondering uh, how that's configured this class that we use um, HMX indicator is built in inside HTMX library, but they have a uh, option to specify your own class for the indicator and you can figure it and style with your own CSS. But it's good for us uh, to, to stick with the defaults for now. All right, cool. So we now have a request that's going to the backend and now let's implement our uh, logic uh, to search in the backend handler. So I mentioned that we're going to use this uh, URL uh, to get data. Let's say we have defn uh, load text data function. And let's see. So we, we want basically to use the slab function and to get uh, the text data from this file. So it will come as a string. So after we get that, um, let's say we want lines. Uh, so we want uh, this slab and we want string uh, split and we, we're going to use a new line to split and after that uh, let's say we want to remove uh, remove a string blank so we're going to remove all blank strings and also we're going to uh, map um, our lines with the trim function to remove uh, trailing and uh, uh, spaces from the back and the front of the string. So we have these lines, right? Um, and by the way, I need to fix this. So it will be lines and then we want these two right here. Okay, so after this uh, function, we have our data prepared. The problem that uh, it will load the, this page uh, on each function call, and we don't really want to do that. Uh, in the simple case, we can just uh, rename this to something else, and we can use a built-in memoization function in the um, enclosure. So it will be load text data, and we say uh, memoize, um, load text data with the star um, asterisk at the end and uh, this will uh, call this function on the first time but after that it will memoize on the input params and as we have the empty input params it will be basically uh, always same response so after that it will just get it from the uh, in-memory cache so we uh, don't load the file and we don't do this transformation so when we have this data, uh, we can now use that in our uh, response handler for uh, for the search. So we have this query. Um, let's convert. Uh, let's it 
uh, let's trim it as well so we we don't uh, uh, we ignore the spaces and we want now our lines here and we want um, our uh, get uh, text data um, low text data function and we want to filter that so we have our line here and basically let's let's do it a simple way so it will be something like string includes and if our line includes our query uh, we will return it and just to have like a predictable response size let's say we want uh, to pick like 50 results from that like 50 lines okay um, and now we just want to map uh, over our lines and we want to convert them into HTML uh, hiccup snippets so it will be div and line uh, inside right so it's line here and we're mapping over um, lines right so the response will be just a list of divs and just to style them maybe a bit we can do um, even um, background red 50 and odd will be background uh, green 50 and a bit of padding okay good idea to add these do alls because the map is lazy and we want to convert everything uh, evaluate everything from from the these lines okay cool so that's good and maybe the one addition that we can do is if we got the uh, query and it's blank we just ignore our search and we say that uh, in case of blank query we have blank lines here right and that's it All right let's try restart that and see if that's working so Let's say love. Yeah, so we have some results. Let's go here and search for some word and we can search for that. Yeah, looks good. It's working. Yeah, and we also have this two seconds uh, delay. So if we remove that, it should be faster. All right. So yeah, that seems to be working. And we, we just uh, created a pretty nice component that's doing active search for us without writing a single line of uh, JavaScript, which is pretty neat. Right. If you if you're interested in more HTMX closure content, please subscribe, and also don't forget to like and comment. That really helps uh, the channel. And also, I have plans to start some uh, closure beginners uh, course. Uh, so if you're interested in that, uh, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. Um, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye bye.